in January 1994 while recording her penultimate album, A Very Fine Love, in Nashville, Dusty Springfield fell to Illinois when she returned to the United Kingdom a few months later, her physicians diagnosed breast cancer. She received months of radiation treatment and the cancer was in remission. In 1995, in apparent good health, Springfield set about promoting the album. In mid-1996 the cancer had returned, and in spite of vigorous treatments, she died in Henley on Thames on March 2, 1999. Her induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland, Ohio, had been scheduled two weeks after her death. Her friend Elton John helped induct her into the Hall of Fame, declaring, I'm biased but I just think she was the greatest white singer there ever has been. Every song she sang, she claimed as her own. In mid-1996 the cancer had returned, and in spite of vigorous treatments, she died in Henley on Thames on March 2, 1999. Her induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland, Ohio, had been scheduled two weeks after her death. Her friend Elton John helped induct her into the Hall of Fame, declaring, I'm biased but I just think she was the greatest white singer there ever has been. Every song she sang, she claimed as her own. Springfield's funeral service was attended by hundreds of fans and people from the music business, including Elvis Costello, Lulu, and Pet Shop Boys. It took place in Oxfordshire, at the ancient parish church of St. Mary the Virgin in Henley on Thames, where Springfield had lived during her last years. A marker dedicated to her memory was placed in the church graveyard. Springfield was cremated and some of her ashes were buried at Henley, while the rest were scattered by her brother, Tom Springfield, at the cliffs of Maher, County Clare, Ireland.